and help make this state more blue. Well, my first guest tonight watching all of this play out from a rather interesting perspective. As an independent mayor of the city of Watertown, he's the top elected leader in the biggest city of the 23rd district. And as host of a daily radio show, he's commentator in chief on North Country politics. Mayor Jeff Graham joining us live from Watertown tonight where the talk of the town was all about the news today. Mr. Mayor, many thanks for joining us. Good to have you again. Thank you, Brian. Glad to be here. Well, so you are an independent, but a self-described mm -hmm. conservative. So two questions here. Um, what kind of congressman has John McHugh been? And what do you make of the fact that the president has picked him uh, to, to uh, serve him his administration mm -hmm. in Washington? Well, John McHugh has been a moderate Rockefeller-style Republican. Uh, he has not been a, a harsh partisan which is why he appealed perhaps to President Obama. He is one of these people who maneuvers well in the halls of Congress and, and doesn't really offend people and is very politic in all of his dealings. So he's a, a, a gentleman, uh, certainly class act, as people have said. And I doubt he's going to have any problems stepping in it, if that's the right expression, as far <laughs> as uh, any of the issues related to the Pentagon. Well, I guess then the, the uh, million-dollar question today is, aside from the fact that he's got an impressive resume, which makes him well suited for this job, you know, not simply given the committees he served on, but his proximity to Fort Drum. How much do you really think politics played a role in this? I mean, by taking him out of this district, the president opens it up to the possibility, as mentioned here right. numerous times tonight, that a Democrat could fill it. Well, I think that's true. You have to look at New York State, where we have 29 members of Congress, only three of them Republican right now. And with redistricting coming up, uh, this district may be one of the ones to fade away. That's what makes this ironic. Whoever wins may be in for just three years. Uh, yeah, I think there was some politics to it. There's no doubt about it uh, because uh, there seems to be a desire to pile on. I think the Democrats have a taste of victory. A little blood is in the water in New York. And I think they want to, uh, you know, sort of rub the Republicans' nose in it a bit and, and maybe grab 27 out of 29 seats. <laughs> so everyone's trying to gauge the political uh, wins up there in Watertown in the 23rd District today, trying to figure out, okay, if this plays out as expected, who's got the advantage? Clearly Republicans do when you look at the enrollment mm -hmm. advantage. Right. But with the president's popularity, his involvement in this race, the fact that John McHugh likely will not campaign even for the Republican candidate uh, sure. in this district, how, how is this likely to play out? Well, I think Barack Obama is popular here. He did win in the general election. Obviously, the uh, appointment of Mr. McHugh makes him a little more popular in the Watertown area, where he is a native of our city. Uh, I think the Democrats are well positioned. They've been winning elections up here. The Aubertine race, the uh, Assemblywoman Addie Russell in this area in Watertown uh, won a traditionally Republican seat. So they're, they're picking up the, the elections up here, and the Republican Party, much as it is and elsewhere in New York, is in tatters up here. They don't seem to be able to put it together. Uh, that's not to say they can't. They have obviously a, a full bench of people out there. But I'm not sure. One thing, Brian, you have to remember, this is an 11-county district running from Oswego to Plattsburgh. There is no political center of gravity in this district, and there is no one who is known universally throughout the district. So it's not like you have a favorite son who can win. It's going to be some assembly member or senator from a portion of the district trying to run district-wide, and I think that'll be difficult. Well, the suggestion there, and accurate at that, is that this is going to be a fight, uh, no matter who the candidates may be on either side. You, you referenced there the, the uh, 48th Senate District special election, which was conveniently the last time you joined us uh, as a guest right. on this program. And when you did, we played a soundbite from your radio show. We don't have it with us any longer. But you jokingly made reference to the fact that you and others up there were, quote, mad as hell, weren't going to take it anymore, uh, given the fact that your community had well, been overrun by political consultants. You guys are bound uh, to live through another one, if not more than one. What do you think about that? Sure, the broadcasters are celebrating because they see a lot of TV ads coming <laughs> their way this summer. It really, it, it depends on whether or not the Democrats, and I assume they will, will seriously contest this. If they nominate someone like former U.S. Attorney Dan French, whose name has been mentioned, he's from Jefferson County, he's a money, money person, he's connected to the Clintons, he's, uh, you know, able to raise the cash. I mean, really, the decision on who to run on the Democratic side, or both sides for that matter, is not going to be made in New York State, it'll be made in, in Washington, D.C., where the uh, respective d campaign committees will yeah. decide where they're going to put their money. Because without the money, you certainly can't expect to win an 11-county race. Uh, and just to be clear, Mr. Mayor, we asked you on the phone earlier today in setting up this interview, if you were among those interested, you told us what? 
Uh, I'm flattered you ask, Brian, but I am not interested. <laughs> but, you know, you do get a lot of people like Senator Griffer who say people are asking me, and that's one of the oldest lines in politics. Uh, I don't know of anybody who calls up and demands you run for Congress uh, the minute someone resigns. And really, when you have a situation like this, the body is barely at room temperature, and already they're picking the carcass. So I, I think most people are content to wait a day or two and congratulate Mr. McHugh before speculating. Oh, it may be no longer than a day or two before the fight begins in earnest up here. I, uh, well, I think so. <laughs> uh, Mayor Jeff Graham and radio host WATN. Hey, thanks for your time. Good to hear from you. Glad to be here. Thank and, you. And uh, hopefully we'll check in with you again as this uh, progresses, as it no doubt will. Still to come on this Tuesday night, 11 days and counting now before state lawmakers head home for the summer. But with several major